Hello and welcome. My name is Bond. James Bond. No guys, I'm just kidding. My name is Alex Morose and in this video we'll be go uh, we'll be reviewing Amiga Seamaster Professional Edition James Bond 0750 anniversary watch right here in the box. When I'm saying Amiga uh, some of the people probably saying why you're not pronouncing Omega the way it should be and the way it's pronouncing in their commercials well Amiga that's how James Bond in his movies latest movies saying and Amiga, Amiga that's how the president of the company is saying so I'm going to go ahead and pronounce it today as a James Bond because we're reviewing today James Bond watches but please forgive me if you would like to hear Omega instead of Amiga Okay, in this white box, we have Antetic, original, Amiga Seamaster Pro, professional, James Bond 007, 50th anniversary watch, 36.25 millimeter watch. Keep in mind that in this size, two different uh, size was, was made by Amiga. 36.25 millimeter as well as 41 millimeter. The difference between those two, 36.25 millimeter has the diamond on a 7 and 41 millimeter doesn't. 36.25 millimeter was made only 3007 pieces while 31 millimeter was made not 31, while 41 millimeter, 36.25 and 41 millimeter. While 41 millimeter was made 10,007 pieces. The difference is quantity of the limited edition. They both are limited editions quantity and 36.25 millimeter has diamond on 7 and 41 millimeter doesn't. They're using the same caliber 25.07 movement which is coxical chronometer as well and uh, it's only caliber that was made on the Seamaster Professional just for this particular watch the other Seamaster James Bond 007 regular edition but still 007 doesn't have the 2507 caliber in them why it's 2507 and why it was made only for this watch is because this watch doesn't have the logo on the back it has the bullet on the back 9 millimeter bullet on the back on both 41 millimeter and 36.25 millimeter and the caliber movement built around that bullet the mechanism built around the bullet that's why 2507 is unique to this 50th anniversary James Bond 007 watch let's go ahead and unbox the this watch is 36.25 millimeter and see what we have inside keep in mind you will receive from Amiga in the white box this is how Antenic look like in the white box alright guys as you can see Antetic original Omega Seamaster or Amiga Seamaster Professional James Bond 007 uh, 50 anniversary watch comes in a white box just like this it says Amiga on it or Omega as again I'm going to go ahead and says say Amiga just because this is the James Bond watch and this is how James Bond saying Amiga this is um, how I'm going to say and Amiga in the silver over here logo and it says Amiga it's a white box kinda like a paper box with some texture slightly texture on it I'm going to open the box and immediately you can see it says the celebrating uh, 50 years of 007 black kind of like a plastic rubberish box but not too much rubbish like a plastic on touch it's the logo of Amiga it says Amiga on it, it's a 50 anniversary over here, 50 year, kind of like a James Bond logo. 
and you can open up the box pull up the black box also over here is a manual cards um, four cards that we're going to see in a second and uh, this is the version of the watch 2294 out of 3007 just because it's 26 uh, dot uh, 25 uh, 36 dot 25 millimeter it's 2294 out of 3007 and um, of course it's going to be inside with this paper it's going to be a catalog it just come up like this it's going to be inside you can pull up it says certificate of authenticity Amiga and that 50 James Bond 50 years a 9 millimeter bullet this bullet will be um, the same bullet as on the watch and on the back of the watch in 36.25 millimeter as well as 41 millimeter and you can it says 007 everywhere you can open this immediately you can see the 2294 version of 3007 total a limited edition number so it's limited the watch itself picture of the watch uh, it says 36.25 coxical 300 millimeters the master and it's going to have the president logo uh, Stephen uh, or Kuhart. I'm not sure how you pro pro pronouncing this name I'm apologizing for this but his signature uh, signature look like a a photocopy to me but it could be a pen black pen very nice fancy pen uh, Specification about the watch is again very nice and beautiful. I know you guys collect uh, collectors will appreciate this, so this is just for you guys. Please like this if you like to see some more. As again, on the paper it's going to say twenty two ninety four. Even on the paper, this is how it's authentic. Okay, so it comes inside. Sorry, I just pulled this up, but. Let me go ahead and put it aside. It comes over here again. Let's go ahead and pull up the watch first before the manual and stuff. Or maybe let's go ahead and look at the manual first. And uh, just because we started with the manual. And uh, the red manual, operating instructions, is going to be in all the different languages right here. As you can see, it's in. Uh, 10 different languages the languages right here English, Deutsch, Espanol, France and the Italiano of course and uh, you can read the manual it's beautiful you will love it okay there is no such a uh, manual doesn't have doesn't have anything about look like I don't see about the edition of the watch which your edition particular I don't think it has this information like that card also the leather white leather kind of creamy leather it says Amiga over here Amiga here with the cards every single card has a reference number in it so there is a pictogram card precision store certificate it's a red card with a uh, logo and Amiga on it right here everywhere chronometer certificate card and limited series card every card has a number and uh, underneath of this leather pocket there is a number here like over here every card has its uh, specific number and I believe the precision stone certificate for the diamond that on the 7 to guarantee authenticity and uh, what kind of clarity of the diamond and color so that's pretty much it instruction main uh, operating instructions in red it kind of not too reddish it's kind of like a paperback uh, cardboard kind of red and uh, leather Amiga Amiga here creamy four cards Catalog comes in a white 
paperback with the number on it, 2294 of your Omega and the catalog as you can see. This is all the manuals and stuff that come on the watch. Okay, let's go ahead and put it back in the pocket. We're done with this. If you didn't receive it like this, you're probably not having the Antarctic watch. And uh, let's just move straight to the box. Beautiful Omega box, kind of plasticky, lookish, kind of rubberish a little bit on the side, especially here. But over here, pretty much like a plasticky with the texture a little bit, as you can see. Uh, okay. All right, folks. And uh, on the right side, if you will click on the box, it opens up and the watch will be inside on the right side from the logo the price tag retail 5200 with the logo of Omega kind of goldish strap the watch itself on the rubber um, not the rubber leather pad and the watch itself this one has the card warranty card which is by the United States Tour Party Company. It's going to say 007 all the way right here, the strap. All the way here, all the way. Okay, folks? And let me go ahead and show you the watch. It's beautiful. Leather pad. You can remove this one from over here like that. It's perfect fits the watch, put it back and uh, remove the watch itself. As you can see over here I have the 42 millimeter of the Tech Hoyer, my beautiful Aqua Racer. I love it so much. Love the design, it kind of looks like a Mega or a Seamaster or kind of look like a Rolex Submariner. I love this watch but anyways this watch 36.25 it's a little bit too small for my wrist I have a small wrist and uh, it doesn't look as I thought it's going to look for 36.25 it's a little bit too small for me but it's still a man watch as you can see diamond on a 7 and it's rotating beautifully the arrow let me go ahead and zoom in for you just to have a look you can see even at 30 frames per second keep in mind I advise you to watch this in 4k because we are shooting within 4K camera, GH4, beautiful camera by the way. You can see how smoothly it's moving, the movement of the arrow. Seconds arrow, it's beautiful. And even the 30 frames per second, you're going to see it's moving like so, like a water, beautiful. The Chinese uh, fakes will move like quartz. Tick, 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 not like this move. This is how you tell if it's Omega fake or not. Also, you can see over here like a watermark, but it's not like a watermark. It's kind of engraved on it, 007 everywhere on the watch. And also, on this particular watch, 50 will be in a red. It uh, identifies 50 anniversary right here. Here's how it moves. So this is how the bezel moves. Not too much fancy, and for but it's okay. The diamond, as you can see, folks, the diamond on a seven. 
It was just beautiful. It says he on the side. This is for the helium escape. Does not just represent he or she, even if it seems so, but this is for the helium escape when you getting on a high on a low attitude into the ocean for the helium escape. So this is represents what it represents. I like the bracelet. Very nice and beautiful. As you can see details of the bracelet that little lines here, it's nice, beautiful. The bezel is ceramic. Look at that seconds. Beautiful, folks. It's just so beautiful. Omega over here, the logo Omega. And um, on the back, folks, it's going to say limited edition. Limited edition. And uh, if you're going to look, keep in mind, by the 6 and 7 position, it's going to tell you the number. The number right here of the watch and says 2294 slash 3007 and as you can see also the bullet 9 millimeter bullet that says just like on a catalog like in a catalog catalog the same 50 anniversary and it's rotating piece that's pretty much it the logo going to be from Mega over here and that's pretty much it folks that's the watch I like everything about this watch and the glass will be it's going to be coaxable uh, chronometer here and movement and the glass will be sapphire crystal which is and all Omega watches by now, Sapphire Crystal. Beautiful, beautiful quality of the glass. The stronger glass ever possible uh, for the watch ever produced. Not all manufacturers are using Sapphire Crystal, only the, you can find it on a watch starting from $500 and up. Uh, even not all manufacturers are putting on $700 because it's kind of fancy consider as a fancy but a mega rolex stack has it as a standard by now of course the bezel is again ceramic and uh, omega or omega again sorry i was saying both ways but you know hopefully i will satisfy all of you guys and uh hopefully you're watching this video in 4k and you're enjoying the last time folks for you just logo all the way around, beautiful. And he over here. Edition going to say on the eleventh. Edition right here. Edition. You can see. And limited is going to say on twelve. Like over here, limited. That's pretty much it, folks. Beautiful. That's it. And uh 007 stripe here and this is what it's all about thank you so much for watching and again let me go ahead and compare with my tech Hoya watch the Seamaster aqua riser I love this watch I love the design and everything you can see how big and I wish this Omega watch was larger I love everything about the design everything about this watch the only one thing I don't like, this is my personal opinion, this size. It looks just a little bit like a ladies, but still a beautiful watch. Beautiful watch. This is the Coyer watch. As you can see, Aquarizer. And I like everything about this Aquarizer watch, except it's a quartz. Quartz, and uh, I wish it will be mechanical now I'm getting more about the watches I just ordered myself a full gold Raymond well 18 card gold watch which is nine thousand dollars over than that review is coming keep watching and folks if you enjoyed this video thumbs up let me know what do you think and um, show me some motivation just thumbs up and give me some motivation thumbs up for it and subscribe for more videos thank you so much for watching 
definitely I'm going to review this tech hoyer and I'm going to review another tech hoyer the Formula One Professional as well I'm going to review my Raymond Well 18 karat Don Giovanni GMT watch that is coming for me tomorrow thank you so much for watching as again Amiga James Bond beautiful watch and uh, if you enjoy show me some love please watch this video in 4k as again i will let you go till the next videos i will see you till the next time as again with you was alex moroz and i will see you till the next time bye all right guys this is the extra bonus for you as you can see i have both watches right now in the, in the dark and you can see on the right on the video there is a Amiga Seamaster Professional James Bond 007 50th anniversary and on the left that coil and you can see how well they light up right now it's completely close little dark room Mega is still showing up on the camera and tech wear is not on the left is tech wear so Omega has stronger illumination at night or in the dark and it's kinda more of the greenish color when the wear is kinda similar to white they were exposed to the light with the same amount of time and Omega is still shining the core is almost out of um, illumination so Omega is much stronger on illumination than the core and on the, le on the left, on the right, you can see Amiga is still shining. And on the left, it's a tech coil Aqua Racer. My beautiful watch that I love, but illumination is not good on those. So Amiga definitely has better illumination. Alright, this is just a bonus for you. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, that's all. I think we underlined. Amiga, Seamaster Professional, James Bond 007, 50th Anniversary Watch.